<laughs> well, I'll give you an example. You know in, uh, you know in, uh, in, uh, in America they say, oh, if, you, if the meat is fed corn, it's not healthy, you want to eat your grass, right? You go to Vietnam, they say 100% American beef fed on corn. So I think a lot of the perception is weird. Oh, like, for example, you know sushi, right? Like super fancy people food. So I lived in Japan for six years, uh, six months, right? Sushi is for poor people. It's like having McDonald's. Like you go to a you go to a conveyor belt sushi, right? For one piece of food, only nine nine cents. And only poor people eat there. Really rich people, they'll eat um, steak. They go to an Italian restaurant and they order a beef steak. Is that funny? Because I think what happened is, you know, like a lot of like white people, right? They go to Japan, but oh, Japanese people are so fancy, blah, blah. And then they bring that back to America and now it's all fancy people food. Even, do you know the beer uh, PBR? The Paps Blue Ribbon, yeah. the cheap one, right? You know, in China, that's considered the luxury beer. Because it's American. Is that so funny? So I'm starting to realize all the perception is a bunch of bullshit too, right? Yeah. Like, because I think what it is, is a lot of people they don't get out do of the country. So, okay, I'll give you an example, right? You remember kale, right? You remember when we were kids? Yeah. Kale was, that wasn't food. It was just like weeds. And then someone was able to, because it's very easy to grow kale, right? Yeah. And someone was able to find out that, oh, kale's healthy now, right? Yeah. And sell it for so much money. But it's like a weed. It's so easy to grow. Because like, even when I was a kid growing up here, right? Yeah. People didn't eat kale. You go to Pizza Hut, right? You know the salad bar? There's the, the fancy, like, kind of the, the decoration. Yeah. Kale was a decoration. No one ate it. And then suddenly it was like, boom, kale is healthy, right? It's in the collard greens, right? Yeah. You know poor African-American people, you see collard greens? Like, oh, only poor people eat collard, collard greens, right? And now, like, rich people are trying to eat collard greens. So it's just like, and you know even bone broth and bone marrow? Yeah. Only poor people eat that, right? Yeah, yep, yep. And then now all the rich people are like, oh, it's healthy for you. So yeah, I think like all this stupid. like, I think all this shit is like, like some, some bullshit, you know? Yeah, they're selling bullshit now. Yeah. So now I just kind of, that's why I just eat cheap food. You know, people's like, oh, you know, this is industrial food. I'm like, fuck it, dude, it's cheap. Yeah. Now I eat, I feel fine. Because like everyone, I think my theory is the fear of marketing. Everyone's always trying to scare you, right? That's good. In order to make money, right? <sighs> <sighs> People say, oh, eat this, don't eat that. But I think, you know, the biggest problem is alcohol and smoking. People say, oh, alcohol's okay, but my friend who's a drug addict, yeah. he said alcohol's the worst drug. Yeah, because it's addictive. Yeah, and it kills you. Like, you know, even weed, right? Not that bad, right? Like, you smoke a bunch of weed, and you're not gonna die. Weed, when you burn it, it's bad for you. Yeah, I mean, it's bad, right? Yeah, what I'm saying it. is that if you drink a lot of alcohol, you could get alcohol poisoning and die, right? Yeah. Weed, you get so high, you're not gonna die. You're yeah. just gonna like fall asleep, right? Yeah. And then same thing with people say, oh, you know, eating meat and stuff is so bad for you. I'm like, almost all the vegetarian, vegan, think about this. Have you ever met a vegetarian or vegan who doesn't drink alcohol? Yes, I met a few. Almost all the vegetarian, vegan I met, I, I think you're correct, but all the really rich, fancy people, they're all alcoholics. Because a lot of them, you know, it's funny because like a lot of the vegetarian vegan, yeah. almost all of them, okay, this is what I think. If beer and alcohol wasn't vegan or vegetarian, there would be a lot less vegetarian vegan people. Because I have a friend, for example, he doesn't eat any meat or animal products, but he's really fat, right? Oh, but he drinks so much beer. Yeah. And you know, same thing too, like potato chips, vegan, right? And then like... Nah, not all potato chips. No, no, no. Are. If it's cooked in vegetable oil, vegan. No. I don't fuck with or, vegetables or, oil. Or, or, um, or for example, like um, the... It's true, right? Like, I don't... Because beer, beer is yeah. vegan. Beer is vegan. Beer is vegan? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't beer be vegan? It's beer only the, the barley hops from the, the grain. Yeah, but I don't think beer is vegan. No, it is vegan. It is? Yeah. Wine is that. vegan. Wine is really vodka. good for you. Yeah, well, that's what they say, right? But my theory is, if you have like a little bit of wine, like a few sips, it's probably good for you, right? But people drink, they have an excuse that, oh, I drink so much, like you drink a whole bottle. 
No, not good for you, right? It ruins your sleep. Yeah. Same thing with beer, right? I know some of my friends, every single meal, they always drink a beer. And then, you know, they call it beer belly, right? Yeah. Because what is beer? Beer is just carbonated bread. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my friend, right? He's all vegan. He's like, oh, he's did it. But then he's so fat. Yeah, Cause he drinks so yeah, he's, much beer. He's not. He's not vegan. It's he's alcohol. Just, he, he's alcoholic. And I think a lot of, or maybe this is why I wonder. Do you think alcoholics become vegans, or do vegans become alcoholic? I do not know. That's a good, yeah. good question. And actually, the funny thing is, um, so I'm Catholic, right? Yeah. A lot of priests are alcoholics. How is that possible? Well, if you're if you're Catholic, right, you're going to the religion. If you drink alcohol, not a big deal, right? So think about your priest, you can't have sex, you can't do da, 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 da. but if you drink alcohol, it's okay. So a lot of uh, Korean priests, right, they like to drink soju, which is like vodka. They love to drink alcohol. Nah, uh, I'm good. I'm yeah. not a big fan of alcohol. Yeah, no, me neither. I haven't, like, I drink a little bit of alcohol, I yeah. turn red, so I don't feel so good. So I kind of gave up all the alcohol. Yeah, I do, like, I haven't drink alcohol until uh, Saturday. Uh, That's when I have it. What would you drink? Um, Duce. Oh, Duce? Yeah. Is it good? It's it's alright. It's not bad. Yeah. It's you know that that's that's Jay Z's that's Jay Z's uh, alcohol. That's Jay Z's alcohol. He made uh, Duce and uh, Ace of Spades. That's his company. That's how that's how Jay Z became billionaire. I'm going to have to stop drinking to say now. Yeah, yeah, cause uh, it's so interesting. Cause like even one thing I was doing some research, almost all the, all the media and everything, all controlled by almost two or three corporations. You know, actually, um, yeah, Disney, I know that. they bought out Fox News, they yeah. bought out Marvel, they own all the media and entertainment. Yeah, I know. So it's so easy for them to just control you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what were some things you've been fucking with? What are you, what have you been thinking about? What do you mean, like, what I've been thinking about? Oh, like, just where are some, uh, some ideas or thoughts you've been having? Me, my thought is to get to this fucking month and then go on my journey to see, like, prepare the, myself for Trying vegan. to be a vegan. Yeah. No, be, I, I think it'd be, it'd be very yeah. interesting, right? So. Or what, what you could try. Do you want to be interesting? You go vegan for one month, then the next month only go carnivore. Nah. I can do that, then I'll fuck up my system. Uh, no, I think I don't want to fuck up my system. Oh, uh, okay. Because like when I I was a vegetarian first. Oh. I did vegetarian for ne nine months. Oh wow. Then did you, did I, you like I it? turned back. Did you like it? It was good. But why'd you turn back? Huh? Why'd you turn back? Because I thought the girl that I was going to be with, we was going to succeed, but apparently it's not working well. Oh, you mean the girl she didn't want to go vegetarian? Huh? No, I thought we was going. To, she was vegan, like she she was in the vegan game longer than I was. Oh, but she wasn't. Then when she came here, like we was going to work shit, uh, things out, but it's not going well for me. So right now, I'm just trying to eliminate all stress and everything. Oh, that's good. Just like go yeah. Zen. Because I've been really stressed and I need to get. What what what's oh. been stressing you out? She been stressing me out. The 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 girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend. Are you still I mean, together she's, or did she's you break not, up? She's not. I just broke up. Oh, before. good job, man. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Well, you have freedom you. now. I would actually say. One bad girlfriend, ruin your life. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. If you have one bad, this is my thought. One bad person in your life is worse than having a hundred good people in your life. It just takes one negative person, fucks up the whole thing. True, right? Yeah, that's It's true. like, have you ever done the, have you ever done uh, wash your clothes, all the whites, but you put it inside like a red hat? Yeah, it ruins everything. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's the life. But I'm just tired of dealing with all the bullshit, you know? Yeah. No. I want to live. I got into a relationship because I want to be happy. Um. But. You know, I'm not happy this, in that This is why I think it's better to be single and be happy and then find another girlfriend or wife who's also happy. Yeah. Because I think because the, the thing I've discovered this kind of sad. If somebody's unhappy, if their nature is unhappy, you cannot turn them happy. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, the dogs, some of the dogs have the feral dogs, yeah. has rabies, right? 